I had an experience with pre-approval. For those that don't know what that is, you have to get all of your stuff together, like your pay slips and your finances and bank statements. And it's such a big process. And you go and speak to someone so that they can see how much borrowing capacity you have. And I found that one of the crucial steps that you need to know your numbers so that that way you can see like what step to take next, because you might think that you can (laughs) afford like a beautiful big mansion property and then you go and you get your pre-approval and you're like, oh, I can only get like a little shack. (laughs) That's where I'm at. This is episode 136. Hello and welcome to my podcast show, Your Coach, Helen Yuskovic. This is the Smart Chat series. This is an episode where I chat to an expert or a thought leader from around the world on a certain topic. Yes. All right. Here we go. Uh, Today's such a cool episode, guys. I have the amazing Amanda Hiley on the show today, and she's from Prestige Property Consulting. And today's episode is all about property investment in 2023. And I thought, what a great way to do just help people along their journey or to help dispel any myths or to help give people just a starting point if they're looking into property investment. And Amanda has been in the industry for a while now, and I've known Amanda for a while now too. And I invited her on the show and I'm so happy that you're here, Amanda. So firstly, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much for having me, Helen. A lovely introduction. (laughs) <laughs> well, let's actually start with because people listening might not even know who you are, what you do, and all of the goodness that you offer people. So, could you give us a brief outline of how you got to where you are today? How did this passion of yours begin, and what led you to your work? Thanks, Helen. Yeah, just wanted to first off say that I can't give financial advice. Um, my comments are just in general in nature. So I'm a fully qualified real estate agent and I work as a buyer's agent. We help buyers buy all types of property. We love being on the buyer's side for the real estate transaction. I actually grew up with my father and my grandfather, both investing in property. And that's how they both become self-funded retirees at an early age. I saw them having multiple streams of income coming in. So I naturally learned how to become a great investor. And now to this day, a great buyer's agent. I love working in the family business. I'm passionate about helping clients save time, stress and money on their property purchase. And I love being on their side the whole way through the property investment journey. That's so cool. So isn't it interesting, Amanda, how when you grow up with something that's just normal in your household, how easy... It can become for you. Yeah. So I grew up between my, you know, my grandfather and my father, you know, they have tenants coming in and out of their properties and we'd go in and just repaint a house or we did some repairs. So I'd like tag along in school holidays doing that sort of stuff. So yeah. Yeah. He's so lucky. Some people just, it seems like such a far fetch. It's just so interesting how, yeah, the environment that you grow up in can really dictate the rest of your life. And that's something I delve into a lot as a mindset coach. Yeah. But let's chat about property investing in the volatile 2023. (laughs) We've had a whole bunch (laughs) of crazy times here in Australia for those of you listening overseas. So I'd love to chat about what it's looking like now in 2023. Like what can you share about this market that's going on? Yeah. In 2023, I feel it's more important than ever. It's very crucial to have, you know, good qualified buyer's agent on your side. There's many people that will be start making lots of mistakes. And that's one of the biggest things that we do as buyer's agents. We prevent our clients from making these mistakes. The market's shifting, you know, in all parts of Australia and different ways. It's really really good to understand what's happening in the market because it's very crucial for their success in their property investing. As you said before, like we've had the pandemic, you know, that's come, that's affecting different states, different regions, different ways. So we need to consider this as well as, you know, the interest rate rises that's been happening and alongside with the normal property cycle that's been happening. So it's easy for people not to understand the different areas and the different changes in the pricing. So whilst we can see in Australia that, you know, there might be areas that won't perform very well like this year, but we can see in our opinion, there'll be 
key um, areas that will perform really well. And overall, you know, investing in Australia as a whole is really important than ever to get advice from a qualified buyer's agent to be on your side. Yeah, yeah, when I had a chat with Amanda, it was just interesting the amount of knowledge you have and the amount of information that you have. And it's really great for people that don't really know what they're doing. And, you know, some people don't even know that yeah. there are buyers agents, you know, some people don't even know what that is. So let's just actually <laughs> delve yeah. into that. W- what is a buyer's agent? Yeah. So a buyer's agent is we work on behalf of the client. So we're working for them. So like whereas a real estate agent, they're working for the vendor. So the real estate agent, when they're trying to you know sell you this house, they make you believe that they're working on your behalf and they're going to get the best price for you from the vendor, but they actually work on the vendor's behalf. If your vendor's, you know, got them to work on their behalf. So you're like the cheerleader, yeah. the support system <laughs> for us that don't really know. Amanda, why do you believe in property investment? What are some of the benefits and like who is property investing ideal for? Yeah, I think property investing is ideal for anyone, as long as you've got the right people around you, I think. For me personally, it's helped me create wealth. It's created a great lifestyle and it's a way that's going to become um, for me to become a self-funded retiree at an age that I choose and not having to rely off the government and not for them to tell me when I'm going to retire. So we, you know, we love helping clients build, you know, these property portfolios. We love seeing, you know, someone who's on average income, you know, save for their deposit. We help them buy, you know, that first investment property. And then from that first investment property, increase in value. So we love seeing that, you know, it increases. Then we help them again by using equity out of that property and use that for the deposit deposits and costs on the property. And then we do that process again and we'll buy the next property and then repeat it over and over again. So we love seeing that that initial money that the client saved up for that first property, we're able to leverage that to get the bank to lend us for the whole portfolio. So it's like a leapfrog where we use the, you know, the first property and then we go to the next and then keep going. So it's great to be able to see, you know, then build this. There's many skills involved in doing this by getting the finance, buying the right property in the right area and then getting the right returns as well. But yeah, a lot of hard work, but it's really exciting to see these, you know, clients achieve those goals of a, you know, a portfolio and being part of their success as well. So, so. cool. It's like you get to watch your child yeah. flourish. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Amanda, we spoke about like the property investing is for anyone. Is there anyone that you couldn't yep. help? And what was the reason for that? So just so that the listeners can get an idea of if there is anyone that might not be suitable. Maybe if they're not in the right financial position, maybe if they've, you know, they have, they need to get in the right mm-hmm. financial position first before we can sort of like move forward. But yeah, we've pretty much helped everyone yeah. some way or another, you know, we get them to the right broker who you can, you know, and it might be, they can't do it now, but in six months time, maybe we can help them come up with a plan of how they can get Got to that it. position. So if they really want to get there, then, you know, we can put the team around them to help them get that, get there. So we talk to lots of clients, you know, and then two years later, they then come back to us. We're ready now. So there might be things in the way and we help get rid of all those those things in the way to you know be able to move on. Yeah, because I was thinking, what if someone doesn't know if they're in the right financial position? What does that even mean? What does being in the right financial position mean? What does that look like? Well, I just wanted to know because we spoke about financial position and like it's good to know that. What does that mean for someone that's like, what is a financial position? Like, does it mean I need to have savings? Does it mean I need to have a job? Does it mean I need to, what does that even mean? Yep. Yes. Well, it does. It means that, yeah, you have to, you know, you have to have a job. You have to have an income. You have to be able to get finance. You have to be, yeah, as you said, you have to have a deposit to have that saved, but there could be other ways to get that deposit. And you also might be able to have a parent guarantee. Mortgage brokers, you know, having the right mortgage broker on your side to help you go through all these things about, yeah, how you can be in the right financial position to be able to start. So we find a lot of our clients, they might talk to us first and then we can give them the idea of what we can do and then say, okay, we need this person, this person to help you. So putting them by the right broker can then help them focus on the goals of what do they want to achieve. So they need to, yeah, so they're going to be able to help them. Got it. And what's a broker do? 
A mortgage broker is someone that can help you who's Mm -hmm. independent, who's not just from one bank. So they can then go to all different banks and they can get the right deal for you that suits you. So instead of going to one bank and they've only got three different products they can offer you, going to broker and they can go to multiple different Mm -hmm. banks. So depending on your situation. So as I said before, they might need a parent guarantee. They might need a certain you know interest rate, but they might not be focusing on that. They might be focusing on when they build that first investment property, when they want to build to the next one and the next one, does that bank suit what they're going to be able to do? Are they going to be able to get the equity out of that property to then go to the next mm. property? So your different banks have different products and you've got to look in advance and go, okay, what are our goals? Are we going to get to the end goal with this bank? Do we need to swap to another bank when we get to the next property and have a bit of a plan? And the, you know, if you get a really good broker that understands property investing, they'll be able to help you sort out a plan and get you the best bank. And sometimes too, over the years, the banks then change their policies and you know what you can can and can't lend. So then you might look at other banks. So it's a matter of that broker having all the different contacts to know who to put you with next. Yeah, right. Thanks for breaking that down. Hope that makes sense, guys. Mm-hmm. Amanda, it's time for your first curveball. Ah. Are you ready to play? <laughs> Am I ready to what? <laughs> play. Play, yes. What am I playing? It's a curveball. <laughs> so, Amanda, the first curveball for you for today is could you please share something about yourself that people might find interesting or they don't really know about you? Oh, I remember the first time I went on a plane was when I was 21. The first time you <laughs> went on pretty, a plane? Yeah. 21. Wow. Yeah. Where did you go? Yeah. <laughs> I think I went to Queensland. That was the first one, yeah, when I was 21. That's so funny. Yeah. But how come? How did that Well, how did that happen? I think because because my dad was so into building his property portfolio, he bought mm-hmm. a holiday house when we were very young and to be able to pay that a holiday house off, you know, he was working pretty hard and that was our holidays every time. Like every time when we were younger, we'd go on holidays, we'd always just go to a holiday house, couldn't really afford to go, you know, anywhere mm-hmm. else like in Australia. So wow. that was our holidays. But we did we didn't learn until we we're older, you know, really appreciated that holiday house. And now we're older, we're like, oh, we've got a holiday house. We can go to any time we want. Yeah. So, th- so now we try and like split up our holidays and go to different parts and not just go to the holiday house all year. Yeah. So, and it touches yeah. on the point that there might be, you might require to sacrifice a few things if you, you know, start this journey of property investing and yep. you might have to look at your lifestyle and the things that you might have to change. And sounds like that's what your dad did. Yeah. And all for a great cause. Like it's all paid off now, right? Yep, exactly. (laughs) Let's move back into our chat. Some people, Amanda, they just have no idea where to begin with buying a property, investing in a property. Can you just break down that process and where someone can begin? Yeah. So three things that we consider to be crucial is having goals, finance, and the team. So having goals, setting goals around the property investing, sourcing a great Mm -hmm. buyer's agent who could be on your side, and we can help them understand their goals. And then also re- refine those goals. So when the market conditions change, they might be then buying something else. You know, they might have a plan of what they want to buy, but as the market changes, you know, they'll they'll buy something else. And we can help the purchaser through the whole process and be on their side, give them all the research, the information, and ultimately in the end, it's their decision. So we're helping them make an informed decision of what they want to buy. So next, finance. We sort of talked about Mm -hmm. a bit before. We're going to make sure they're in the right financial position. Have a great mortgage broker who can access multiple lenders, which I said before, who understands property investing too. It's really important. Like it'd be great if, you know, they do property investing themselves because they understand Mm. it. And a broker that can understand the jargon too in simple terms. So they say words sometimes and you have no (laughs) idea it goes over your head. So it's great for them to be able to explain that. And then they can apply for pre-approval. So we like having lots of our clients that have already got their pre-approval in place so that they can, you know, go straight and buy that property. So you don't want to be buying a property and then all of a sudden feel figure out, oh, you can't get actual approval for this property. So great to have a pre-approval in place. Sorry, I had an experience with pre-approval. For those that don't know what that is, you have to get all of your stuff together, like your pay slips and your finances Mm -hmm. and bank statements. And it's such a big process. And you go and speak to someone so that they can see how much borrowing capacity you have. And I found that one of the crucial steps that you need to know your numbers. Yes. So that that way you can see like what step to take next, because you might think that you can... (laughs) 
afford like a beautiful big mansion property and then you go and you get your pre-approval and you're like oh I can only get like a little shack or an apartment and (laughs) that's where I'm at so it was really interesting when I did mine and because I'm a sole trader yeah the first time I went for pre-approval it was just dismal and I was like oh I can't even buy anything and they said yeah it's really hard as a sole trader to you know do this yourself and so I started my journey a few years ago and I got myself a part-time job where I got a pay slip and a regular income yep. as well as my own business. And that when I went and got my second pre-approval, yeah, it allowed me so much more space. And I, I was able to borrow a lot more where I was like, okay, yes, now I can afford something like an apartment or a two-bedroom apartment yep. or a townhouse. So yeah, pre-approval guys, yep. it's one of those really important important steps. Yes. Yes, exactly. And sorry, I cut you off before. What was the next one? No, you're right. And the, the other thing that we, you know, we find really crucial too is that team. So a buyer's agent can help you build the rest of the team as well. So really important that, you know, depending on, you know, location and the types of property, you know, you need different um, people in your team. But most of all, you'll need a conveyancer. You'll need a person building inspector. Um, you'll need a property manager to, you know, manage those tenants. And there's many other people in the team that we can help. You know, we can say, you know, get in contact with this person. And then we, you know, coordinate all the team members and we ensure that, you know, there's a smooth process for investing, you know, into that this property. Yeah. So, yeah, really important to have, you know, the goals, you know, your financial position and your team around you. So we've seen so many people, you know, that come to us and like, I tried to do it myself or they get their pre-approval and then they just like keep looking, 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 pre-approval runs out. And then they're starting the process again, giving all the information to the broker again. And, and they're not really getting anywhere. That's where we get a lot of brokers coming to us going, hey, we've referred this client to you because, they're, you know, they're not getting anywhere. They're not sure what they're doing. You know, we go through the time. They don't have time because they've got a full-time job. So they don't have time to talk to all these agents. You know, we're talking to them every day full time. And, you know, the stress of the whole thing, they don't know where to go. They don't know the process. They don't know the people. And, you know, money, we try to save, you know, all our clients' money. So we're always looking at off-market properties, always putting offers in, you know, below market you know, trying to make sure that, you know, they can save the, the money as well. So you're like the yeah. uh, property investing angels, especially <laughs> yeah. for people that have no idea, like, where do I go and source a conveyancer from? Where do I go and source a building person, maintenance, pest control person from? And yeah, yep. so there's all of yep. these other yep. things that go along with the journey of property investing. So thank you for breaking it all down. I hope this is giving people some clarity that are listening. But Amanda, it's time for your second curveball. Are you ready to play? Oh, yes. Go for it, Helen. (laughs) What is your favorite form of self-care? Pilates. I do Pilates every Monday night and I have done for about 20 odd years. (laughs) Wow. You must have a core made of steel. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. That's a long time. So you must have done old school Pilates before Reformer came into play. Yeah. Well, I actually, at the moment, I just do mat class. But I have done Reformer. I've done, yeah, quite a few different studios, mainly with physios, and they do different techniques. So, yeah, yeah. if you haven't done a Matt Pilates class, which is the OG of Pilates, you should really try a Matt Pilates class so that you can really see where your your weaknesses are. Sometimes I go into a Matt Pilates class and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much harder than a Reformer class. (laughs) You got nothing to hold on to. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's keep going with this chat. It's so exciting. It's I hope it's inspiring people to think about considering property investing because as you said, it's really great to sort of take control of what you can for your future, especially when you retire because yep. Yeah. What if we can't rely on the government one day? What if we, you know, what if who knows what's going to happen in the future? We never know. But could you share some key things that people would need to consider before making this massive commitment (laughs) and why? Yeah. I think people just have to consider their financial position and make sure that they're positioned correctly. It's not all about, you know, this purchase. It's about how they're going to get to the next purchase. And sort of what you said before about looking at the future, 
Like have people worked out if they're super when they retire, is that going to pay for the lifestyle that they want for the rest of their lives? You know, we look at property investing too. We've got something to then pass on to our kids to then help them. How are they going to be able to afford property in Sydney or Australia, you know, when it's time for them to buy a property? And you need to also consider that does this specific purchase that you're going to buy meet your goals? It's extremely easy to get caught up with a good salesperson that actually sells you a product mm. and not focusing on your goals and like what you want. Interesting. That's where a good buyer's agent can come, yeah, coming to make sure that, you know, it lines up with what you're buying, what your goals are and ensuring that, you know, you have good success. Yeah, it sort of takes the whole stress out of it for you. It's like, yep. hey, Amanda, this is what I want. This is my goals. Here's my borrowing capacity and my financial yep. position. You go do the rest. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's so good. It just sounds like magic. Yep. And is there anything else that you'd love to share, Amanda, about property investing or anything that you feel like we may not have covered? I'd love to throw in one more curveball, ah. Amanda. So are you ready to play? Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm a mindset coach and you know that. So mindset's huge for me. And I yep. know that some people will be in the mindset of this is just too far a stretch for me. What advice could yep. you give to shift people's mindset from there's no way I could do this to potentially maybe I could consider this? Probably just talking to them, showing them we do like we sit down with our potential clients and show them some of the deals that we've done for the client, showing them what they can achieve, showing them what we're buying at the moment, Showing them even, you know, a portfolio of a client that has purchased, you know, 10 years ago. Show them what they they can do. Try and relate to them. I've got a client that's 23 and that's built a portfolio already and, you know, what he's looking at doing in the future. So... I sort of relate that it's a young person that looks at the first time investing, show them what clients have achieved before. And yeah, just build on, as you said before, just helping them, you know, you can do it. (laughs) You can achieve these goals. I think just showing them what clients have done probably makes them realize that they can do it as well. I've had people come on before where, you know, they're just too nervous to actually even buy like, and it takes a long time, might take weeks or months to get them to actually purchase. Some other clients come on and within two weeks, they've bought a property because they're probably a bit more confident. (laughs) Totally. It's all about having that growth mindset and just being open and trusting and understanding that you've got to take risks risks to be successful in life. You just have to sometimes take that plunge. And if you feel like it is too far a stretch, then get a support system around you like a buyer's agent, like Amanda, because they can help you to make your goals and your dreams come true. And that is so exciting. So Amanda, before we wrap up the show. Is there anything else that you'd like to share? Just want to let the viewers know that we can offer a complimentary 30-minute conversation with us. We'd like to chat to anyone that's interested in investing in property. They might already be in the investment property journey already and they might be stuck or you know they just want some more advice, they want some more support. And so anyone that is a first-time property investor that wants to you know look at growing their portfolio and they don't know where to start, we'd love to be able to speak to them and help them, put them with the right team and yeah would love to help them awesome and which area do you service so if people are listening and they're like hey i want to reach out to amanda who could you help like is it everyone in the world is it people in australia who can contact you anyone can contact us so we do have people anyone in australia we have people overseas as well we have a lot of people that have moved from australia to overseas they might be just you know holidaying extended Mm -hmm. holiday over there they might be working over there we have the means and the resources to actually, you know, communicate with those people overseas. A lot of people in Australia buying, you know, investments. We are licensed for New South Wales and Queensland. So yeah, happy to buy for any investors and any home buyers as well. So we do buy all different types of property. We can buy for home buyers. We can buy commercial. We actually just go out and buy whatever our clients, our goals are. We'll go buy for them. Got it. Thank you so much. Well, I will put Amanda's details in the show notes, guys. So if you feel like you could benefit from a chat with her, she is very down to earth and she would be more than happy to have a chat with you as well as the team that she works with. So thank you so much for your time, Amanda. I hope we've inspired at least one person to actually start that process of investing in a property and setting up their future. Thank you so much, Helen. Thank you for having me.
I hope you enjoy the show today. Remember, you can jump on my Instagram to let me know your thoughts on my podcast show. I would love to see it. And if you have a moment, please share a five-star review on Apple Podcasts so that we can help move the show along together. If you share a review, please send me a screenshot of it so that I can send you a thank you gift. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode. I'll see you next week for next week's episode. Bye.